So on this episode of Broken Sylvia, we're going to be refurbishing these wheels. Before I get bombarded with questions what they are, these are raised by Nismo LMGT4s in a 17 by 9.5 plus 12 offset. Let's get started. Okay, so we have begun refurbishing these wheels. They're already painted and mounted on the car. We are in the future, but I'm going to walk you through step by step on how I did it. So step number one is you want to make sure that your wheels are not bent. In my case, I've done about a thousand kilometers um, while the car was still in a driving state on these wheels and they're perfectly straight. So step number two will be if you want to do a good quality job, you're going to have to take the tires, the wheel weights, and the original stickers off so you can get paint everywhere. Everything was removed. For some, the original stickers might be like a real painful thing and you don't wanna do it. Totally up to you, I didn't care, so they came right off. And step number three is you want to inspect and see how much curb brush there is and do you want to give them a light refresh like I did or do you want to change the color? So if there's curb brush, you're going to have to sand some of those really bad sections out, sand them down a little bit, and put body filler or some sort of metal filler there. Again, work around. I think Custom Spray Mods has a really good video on refurbishing um, wheels and curb brush. So go uh, check that video out if, you're re uh, if your wheels are really bad. But if your wheels aren't bad, like in my case, what you're go going to have to do is just sand them back with 320 grit dry sandpaper followed by 600 grit wet and dry sandpaper. I got Harry to give me a hand with that, so thank you, Harry. And after 600 grit, they are ready for paint. I used a white base coat and I put a clear coat over the top. I prefer painted wheels over powder coated. Uh, painted wheels, definitely a way glossier. And I don't like how the powder coating gives it like a textury look. But unfortunately, the time I painted the wheels was the same time I did the covers, which means, as I mentioned in a previous episode, I put the wrong thinners with the paint and got a slight reaction. Not the end of the world, we'll probably redo them at a later date. So yeah, 
and I also downsized to a 235 45 17 as opposed to a 255 40 17 just to fit the car a little bit nicer it's mainly the back end the front end we never had issues with the back end we had to wind a bit of camber in and really stiffen up the rear springs but now we can wind that camber out and we can lower the car even more so we've got less ne negative camber the car's more slammed and we shouldn't rub i'll still roll those back guards and we shouldn't have any issues. So yeah, pretty simple process. So as you guys can see, the wheels on the Broken Sylvia are painted. What I like to do first is I like to close the fan on the gun and make it a little bit more narrow. And I kind of shoot the paint, mist it in the lug nut hole area first, which means at the moment you have full coverage in that area, you can open your fan up again and paint the rest of the wheel. I usually find that's the best way of not getting runs, even though I think I've got like a, I think I've got a run on one of the wheels, but not a big deal. Um, what else? Oh yeah, and then you take it to your tire shop to get the uh, tires mounted. I think the back wheels didn't even need wheel weights, how straight they are. So that was really good. Uh, what else? Yeah, perfect project to do with your friends, your mates, first DIY project, or just getting into cars, just super easy. Get a few friends together, sand some wheels on the weekend. You can do it with rattle cans as well. Again, I really recommend using two-pack instead of the cheaper acrylic or enamel paints that you just buy from your normal auto auto store. So maybe spend a little bit more if you don't have a uh, air compressor or a gun, just get a can that's two pack if you're planning on keeping the car for a bit and then it'll make your wheels look nicer for longer. As you can see, the S15 is broken as well. It's not broken, but the subframe got pulled out of it just to get a few things uh, tidied up. The broken Sylvia, next video where is full of fails, just fails, fails, fails. But it's it's slowly coming to an end. We have no money to finish it. So we're trying to do everything that doesn't involve spending money on it just yet. And then the moment it's ready for an ECU, that I think that'll be the final step for a Haltech. And then we can start the car, drive away, and hopefully it doesn't break down. I'm actually planning on maybe making it my daily driver and sell the daily I have now. No point of having to two nice weekend cars when the Skyline's done one day as well. So that's the plan, people. You enjoyed the videos, subscribe.